So in the end of last video, I promise you guys that if you're gonna like, subscribe and share, there's gonna be a part two. So watch the part two. They're down here. They gotta make their way out. They had no luck getting the, uh, the plate off the car. Um, so the diver's gonna go down and pull the plate and we're gonna try to relay the information. Here with my boy Marco. He's about to get in the water and check out the car. Marco, how many dives have you done? Oh, well. Lost count, man, but I've done over 100 maybe and I've been diving for three, four years now. Done mostly shipwrecks and deep dives. Whereabouts would you say you normally dive? Uh, usually here in Lake Ontario, Tobermory, St. Lawrence River. Uh, done some in Europe. Okay, awesome, awesome. Today the plan is to see if we can get a license plate on camera mm -hmm. or see if we can scrape off the algae and see if there's anything in the car. Awesome. To clarify, there was no parking ticket on the car. A lot of you have asked me, oh my god, was there really a parking ticket? What, like scuba diving parking cops? What are you thinking? What kind of ticket they're gonna write this guy? And then they know about the car, but they don't happen to mention it to the real cops. They wait for some tool like me to find out. I'm saying that it's a Golf MK4 based off of the chassis. I'm saying it's a 91 to 95 Civic hatchback. I'm saying it's a 99 Suburban. <laughs> so you just came out of the dive, how did it go? It wasn't bad, the water was 11 degrees so it wasn't too too cold. Okay. The visibility is really really bad when yeah. you start stirring things up and cleaning the windows and stuff. You get managed to get the license plate. It's, awesome. The, the plate number was 993 uh, YWR I believe it was. Let's double check that, YY39WR, we got that Igor? Yep. Awesome, awesome. We tried getting the trunk open. Trunk, I couldn't find the latch. I think it was a Mark IV Golf. Yeah, wow, okay, uh, so like I was that, wrong, not a Civic. <laughs> it looked like that from the headlights and the taillights and the shape of the car. How big was the windshield crack? It starts in the middle, it's like a white chunk like that and then goes like across, like, like an X pretty much across the whole window. But what if something hit the windshield and that's how they lost control and ended up in the water? They, right, possibly, yeah. yeah, visibility yeah. and then they just lost control. The visibility lost control. control. And me and Marco were wrong. You can see inside the car. Yes, this is a view from in the back of the car. And yes, I slowed it down because you guys complained too much. If anyone else notices this rusty thing, I don't know what that is. Maybe leave it in the comments. But here's one even better for you. Bang! That's an H on the steering wheel. See that? It doesn't stand for horny. It stands for Honda. So if you guess anything else, you're an idiota. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. That. <laughs> so the next morning at 7 a.m., I got informed that police is diving there under the water. So we got the drone up. The cops just per confirmed that the car was reported stolen in 96. That means 24 years underwater. Also, they don't know what's inside. We're gonna try to, I guess they're gonna try to pull it out and uh, figure out what's happened. Would you look at that? Look at wow, they're just pulling. In. Oh my god, they're so look at them push on it. Just a bunch of tough guys here, just pushing on. Look at that machine. Look at the strength of that machine. So, if you guys guessed uh, 92 to 95 Civic, you were right. The car is out of the water. Luckily, there's no body. The cops, it took them, I think, over an hour to pull it out, but uh, overall, I think it's, I think they did a pretty good job. I just want to get the I just want to get the sticker. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Do we know what uh, the sticker is? Like the Valpeg sticker? Yeah. No, because it was reported years ago, and then yeah, nothing. Awesome. Classic towing and storage is here. They got the police uh, contract for the Humber Bay area, um, so shout out to them. As far as I know, the car is going to be towed off to the pound, investigated, and likely turned over to insurance. Shout out to these guys the for sponsoring on. the video. If you want to get one of these bikes, check the link in the bio. Also, if you want to get in touch with anyone in the video, their handles can be found below. Hello guys, I am Joran Marjak. That's my number two video, my part number two video. Uh, please, I want to share or subscribe or like me in my video downstairs if you li really like me.